Well, gentlemen, I have a fantastic announcement to make. I'd like to introduce you to our newest board member and the first woman to break the glass ceiling here at Mega Global Inc., our new Chief Operating Officer, Lisa Tedeschi. Let's have a hand for Lisa. Well, thank you, gentlemen. I've heard many wonderful things about MGI, and I look forward to working with each and every one of you to propel this corporation into a brighter future. All right, down to business. We'll start with the last quarterly report. Let's hear from finance. Uh, sir, we're making money. Fantastic, because my wife needs a new set of titleist golf balls. Because we play together now. Yeah. Anyway, what new business do we have on the agenda? Sir, I have an idea. All right, let's hear it, Jerry. Well, do you ever have a handful of papers, but you're unsure how to manage their order sequence? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, Why does that always happen? It always I just happens. don't get it. It's ridiculous. Why does it always happen? It's just... Well, I move that we set up a task force to... A task force? You mean you've never heard of paper clips? Staplers. Three ring binders. Really? I didn't know that. Uh, did anybody else know that? Well, looks like we were behind the curve on that one. No matter. Opportunities are like buses. There's always another one coming. It doesn't work. Let's hear from marketing. Paul, how's that pilot project coming? Um, the outlook is good. Is that a magic eight ball? All signs point to yes. Well, actually, Lisa, we like to refer to it as the decision quantification matrix. It was actually quite helpful during the recession of 09. It was a lifesaver. Well, gentlemen, I have a proposal. If you take a look at our chart, you'll see that our fiscal... Is that a beer? What? Bill. That's highly unprofessional. You didn't even offer Miss Tedeschi one. <laughs> Sorry, didn't have any wine spritzers. I'll pass. Thank you. So I'm guessing we don't need the funnel then. Anyway, as I was saying, if we draw our attention back to the graph, you'll see that our revenue stream... Why are we discussing a group of buildings anyway? I mean, we're not even in construction. Well, they're not buildings, Bill. Thank you, Paul. They're obviously smokestacks. Right. What? Well, you're clearly pitching something to do with carbon trading. It's very hip. Yes. Green is good. Green is good. No, no. This is a bar graph. You know, used to compile information, make concrete, analytical decisions. A bar graph. A bar graph. Lisa. That's not how we do things around here. What? What do you mean? I know you're new here and your input is appreciated, but we like to stick to core business functions. What you said just sounded like a bunch of hocus pocus mumbo jumbo. Well, how do you make decisions then? We like to cut all the filler and approach business decisions in the good old fashioned democratic way. We race lobsters. And it hasn't failed us yet. Oh, that is it. I've had it with all of you. You're running a business, not a kegger. I mean, you need graphs and fiscal projections, staplers for crying out loud. I mean, you all have such a hackneyed way of, of running everything. I, that's it. I've had it. I, I smell weed.
Oh, yeah.